Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and welcome to Plants and Things. Today's video is going to be my March, no, wow, what month are we in? May, wow. <laughs> my May favorites. These are the plants that I'm constantly checking on that I'm completely obsessed with for the month of May, not March. <music> That just shows you how much is going on right now that I'm like all over the place so let's just get right into this and I wanted to say thank you because on my last video what video was it my eBay unboxing video you guys gave me so many good tips about how to take care of my Hoya thank you so much I'm definitely going to take all those suggestions I definitely need to get it up on the trellis because it's going wild and yeah you guys give me some good tips and I'm like really kind of like wanting to take a little more peek into Hoyas for sure so thank you if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing um if you don't follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram and if you like this video press the like button it's free thank you all right so let's get right into these favorites the first favorite is my raffidophora the cursiva look how big this leaf is this thing is massive massive okay so when i first got this plant I think it was yeah so you can see it's kind of it's cut right here it was definitely already crawling out the pot when I first got it and but that's like right when this plant swap popped up so I chopped it like a week after getting it and it was fine like it didn't throw a fit it didn't die back it didn't drop any leaves it has not dropped one leaf since I got it these are the original leaves down here sorry down here and look at this it's already, it's already pregnant with another leaf this leaf just came out this leaf just came out and one of these other there's another leaf over here one of these leaves that aren't finished straight it just came out as well so this just finished putting out three leaves like at the same time mind you like literally at the same time this plant is a beast and it's just beautiful now the thing that confuses about confuses me about the curse of us is i see them climbing and then i see them crawling and I don't know, is it a climber, is it a crawler? I don't, I don't know. This one wants to crawl for sure. I wanted to make it climb, but it said no. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's gonna stay as a crawler for me. Um, At some point though, it does need to be in a new pot. But yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't know. Like, I don't think it needs to be, I don't feel like it needs to be repotted, you know? I just need to put it in a different pot so that it could do its, you know, crawling thing thing and be going to its potential. But yeah, look how tall it got too. Like it's, I love this plant. It's doing so good. It needs to be watered. <laughs> it's super light, but it's super easy to take care of also. You know, I like things simple, okay? This plant is simple to take care of. It doesn't throw a fit if I let it dry out or if I overwater it, which I don't know if I've actually ever overwatered it. I wait until it's bone dry, like, bone bone dry <laughs> before i water it and again i don't mind it in the soil because it gets super dry like that's the only place that i don't mind being in soil is if i can like let it dry out i don't mind it being in soil but if it's a plant that needs to stay moist it can't be in soil for me so i love this plant it's easy it's beautiful look how glossy Look at the shine. There is no leaf shine, no oil, no neem, no nothing. This is au natural, okay? This shine is so beautiful. And it's funny because the other leaves is dusty looking. Now, not dusty because I didn't wipe them because I will wipe these leaves. I, don't, I wipe these leaves and they still look dusty and um, kind of like dull. I don't know why, but the new ones, the new ones came out nice and shiny so i guess that's just the anatomy of the plant but yeah i really 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 love this plant right now i look at this leaf every day <laughs> so that's the first one the raffin afford the curse of a the next favorite mm, okay the next favorite is my glorious my philodendron glorious i imported this plant a couple months ago by now and it just hasn't skipped a beat i want to say did i put this in my favorites it might have been in the previous favorites i don't know but that's how much of a favorite it is for me <laughs> that it made the cut twice so what i like 
is that it's such a vigorous grower. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that this leaf came out small, but it was a emergent leaf when I imported it, so I'm gonna give it a pass. But this leaf is not looking like it's gonna be that large either, so I'm not sure what else it may want. It sits right in front of the window. It is a northeast facing window though, so it doesn't get a whole ton of light, but it doesn't need a whole ton of light anyways because it's a dark velvety leaf. I don't want it to get bleached out, you know? So I'm not sure why the leaves are coming out a little small. I am putting fertilizer in it, kind of a strong fertilizer too. Could that be stunting the growth? I don't know. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, you know what I need to do? This steak isn't doing it. I think that's what it is. This steak isn't cutting it. This was a temporary fix when I imported it. And I think once I get this on a better support, because I'm, mm, mm. <laughs> this is firm. I don't know how I'm going to be able to train it back. I think that's the key. I think the key is getting on a more proper support. And I don't, I don't like moss poles. I don't like moss poles, but I might have to do it for the glorious I might have to do it for the glorious because I really want this to size up these things I'm gonna insert a picture they get massive okay like massive these plants get and I know I need a moss pole for it so yeah this is my second favorite for this month because it's always pushing I keep spilling water on myself okay I'm trying to show y'all the new leaf, but that's where the hole is on that side. It's always pushing out a new leaf, and I like the color that it comes out when it emerges. I don't know why this leaf is turned sideways like that, but that's what it wants to do. So that's my other favorite, the Glorious. My next favorite. Okay, so this is as well as a surprise for me because I never really paid attention to these types of plants. I kind of sort of did, but I wasn't really paying attention to them. And I found this plant. Oh my gosh, it's completely dry. It needs to be watered. Oh Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> like it is crisp dry. Oh God. Okay. All right. I'll do it after I show it to you guys. So I didn't post the video yet, but I did a um, vlog of a botanical garden and that's where I got this plant from. And it is the begonia sinbad i never really paid attention to begonias like that like i like the polka dot begonia or the what they call the maculata i forget what it's called but this one is nice like the pink iridescence -ness of this if it's not coming up i will insert a clip so y'all can really get the full effect of this iridescence pink and this plant like it's so it's this leaf right here now I have to figure out I don't know that's why these leaves feel like this I was wondering why they didn't feel as supple oh my god it is so look at this it is dry to the bone in there and look how much it was $11 that's my kind of price now y'all don't see it on here and hopefully I have it captured in the picture it flowers it had all these pretty pink flowers on them um when i first got it and it was putting out all these new leaves i'm pretty sure yeah all of these leaves are new here and okay this is killing me i need to water this poor thing it is so is it really let me like it looks i mean i don't that's the other thing is i don't know what to do Oof. It's kind of damp. Like, it's no, it's kind of, mm, should I water it? I don't know. I don't know what to do with begonias. I don't know what to do with begonias at all. I feel like they want to stay moist. And I feel like this, even though it's slightly moist, it's less moist than it would want to be. So, with all that said, I'm going to water it as we speak. But, yeah, I said I wanted to try to get into begonias, but I just wasn't really seeing one that I really wanted to get into. Um, and then when I saw this one, I said, this is it. This is it. The Begonia Sinbad. And it was the pink iridescence that got me. And I'm not even really a pink plant girl. Like, I'm not really into, like, pink leaves like that. But for some reason, the iridescence -ness, That I'm into. I'm into iridescence <laughs> of leaves. And that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this did not want to be that dry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But yeah, I love this plant. 
I look at it every single day. Oh yeah, that feels so much better. I, I love the feeling. This is the thing. I don't really care for plastic pots, but in soil, I like them because I can feel the soil swelling. And then I know like, ooh, it's watered all the way. Like I don't even need to see the water drip out the bottom. I just can feel it, you know? I love that. I know that's not what this video is about, I'm sorry. But yeah, I love this plant simply for the color of the leaves. And I saw this begonia. It wasn't this begonia. It was a, either a maculata or something else, I don't know. The point is, I didn't know how big they could grow. These things can grow looking like trees. That made me excited. I was like, oh, if I could get this to grow that big outdoors, Ooh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be so nice. So yeah, this is my other favorite for this month, this Begonia Sinbad. Now, now I'm gonna have to go check out some other Begonias and see like what other color, oh, okay, it's dripping. What other color variations they have because this right here though, so I keep this in my bin of like my quarantine plants. It was a new plant anyways that I got, so it didn't need to be quarantined. But also I feel like it want, it would like all the humidity and I think it does. But right now, yeah, the leaves feel so different because when I first got this, the leaves were like so plump feeling and now they feel like paper. I'm pretty sure it's because they was dry. So we, <laughs> that's that. My next favorite, Okay, let me see. Let me just, this, this is a big one, so I need to prep some space here. Mm, oh my God, we're falling. Okay, whew. Next one, my Colocasia elephant ear. If you watched my previous video, I don't know if this one's coming up first or the other one of underrated plants, bulbs, elephant ears, Colocasia's underrated plants, okay? This thing, is my favorite because watching it grow was so satisfying like it's so satisfying to watch this thing grow this one leaf grew in a matter of a week okay like <sighs> there's two bulbs hold on there's two bulbs in here and Lekka I'm so happy I put it in Lekka that was the easiest thing I ever did and look at how big this leaf is about to be that's about to come out I love this thing and it can go outside it could be very happy outside inside doesn't matter and I just really love the texture on here so there is the one that is really dark I want that one there's one that's um, variegated mojito I want that one there's one that uh, I just want them all because I like them all let me make sure as you I can see it I want them all because they're all just beautiful and so so easy really and I'm happy that it was easy to grow in Lekka because I really didn't want a huge pot of dirt so yeah these are so cute I love this when it came out it first came out it was sitting up straight like this it was so cute I cannot wait if this leaf unfurls before I put this video out I will absolutely put it, the um the picture of it up on the screen because this is gonna be massive and I cannot wait to see it so yes this is my favorite because it's easy and it's beautiful and it's big oh, oh my gosh <sighs> love that one my next favorite which I know y'all tired of hearing me talk about it. I know y'all are. And I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to hear me talk about it again if you'd like to skip past that you can, but that is the Majestic. I will not stop talking about this plant. Like, so I'm trying to think. I think this is the one, yeah, this is the one that was not quite hardened off when I first got it. So I bought this plant twice, guys. This is the second time I bought this plant. <laughs> That's how much I really like this plant. Y'all yeah, not gonna get the full effect of this leaf, so I'm gonna insert it. And this leaf comes out peachy pink, kind of like the glorious, but the iridescenciness. I told y'all I like iridescenciness. The iridescenciness shine on this leaf. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is so my favorite plant. When the one that I had lost all its leaves, I had to get another one. I did. I had to get another one. Now, thank goodness my nodes are producing leaves. Thank God. But in the meantime, in between time, I have these and it's so beautiful. What I like about this plant is that even though it's a baby plant, 
I still get all the features. Like I don't have to sacrifice the shape, the color, the prettiness. Like I still get all of that even as a baby plant. This, wow, I didn't even realize how silvery this one was. Oh my God. Okay, so look at, okay. So this was the first leaf, beautiful, in love. Look at this last leaf. Look how silvery this leaf is. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that. This is the newest leaf, and it's a nice size too. Oh man. So I really like these because I'm not 100% into like silvery plants, but this is like the perfect balance. You know, it's kind of like gray. It still gives you a little silveriness, but it's not like major full on sil silveriness. So yeah, mm, love this plant. This is probably my number one favorite. I'm lying, it's definitely my number one favorite. So last, but certainly not least, this plant, my next favorite plant for this month. I really, I'm learning, I'm learning that I really appreciate watching certain plants grow. I, and if I can watch the plant transform before my eyes, that is just like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it because I just wanna see every day like how it's progressing, how it changes, how the features come into play. Like, that's why I love this plant so much. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this, that for the month of May, this is my all-time favorite. This is my all-time, this is not a new plant to my channel. Y'all have seen this plant before, but it's just doing big things. It's just doing big things. And it is my crystallinum. Look at this leaf. Look at this. Am I am I allowed to do a head test? Is that how big it is that I can do a head test? Probably not. I have a big head. But and it has, look at it. Another one coming. Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed with this plant. I almost feel bad because I know that I'm more obsessed with this plant right now than my Majestic, even though I've already stated that that's my all-time favorite. Right now, in this moment, this plant is it. This plant is it because of, look at this. Look at this. It's not even just the size. It's just the... I wish... I'm going to insert a picture. I probably have it when this was still red. Oh my gosh. It was this color but almost this size amazing like and let's let's talk about how this leaf is still hanging on this leaf is it's wow it has still not given up but yeah these were the first two that came out in my care i was happy with these but what in the world what in the world and it pushes out multiple leaves at one time all the time there's another one. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in the picture because it's right under these leaves. And if I break a leaf, I will actually shed a tear. Um, there's a little red stem down there. So it's like working on another leaf already. Oh my God. Like, I'm just so, and I think, I think I'm gonna get into anthuriums. I was really not checking for anthuriums, but the way that this leaf is acting i think i'm gonna have to get into anthuriums because watching them expand and transform and come like i can't get enough of it like i literally every single day i sit on my bed and i look at this plant every day <laughs> because i love watching this grow like i guess it's just the leaf pattern like the way that anthuriums grow i I understand the obsession. So the one that I want next is the Anthurium bestiae. I think that's how you say it, bestiae. And um, I've seen it several times on Koa's Plant Corner. If you don't follow her channel, Koa's Plant Corner, she has beautiful plants. She's really nice too. I love her channel. She's funny. She has a bestiae. She has several bestiaes, first of all. <laughs> and they're all gorgeous. Again, was like, mm, not into Anthuriums. Wasn't checking for them because I didn't want the stress. But after this... After this, I'm gonna have to dip my toe. I'm gonna have to dip my big toe into anthuriums and get the bestiae. That's definitely my next one because the veination and the texture, like it gets this texture after it hardens off that is, I don't know if I can show it, but it gets this texture, maybe if I show it this way, 
I guess this texture after it hardens off like there's just so many dimensions I don't know why this has this spotting around the edge like this this yellow it didn't have that at first um if y'all know why please let me know so that my big new beautiful leaf doesn't get it but either way it's still perfect to me it is still perfect to me so this is my number one favorite for the month of May, not March. <laughs> so that is all my favorites for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, sticking it out with me. I know I haven't like really, I've kind of slowed down on my posts this month. There's just a lot going on, but I will make it up to you next month. So thank you for watching and have a good night.